What's going on everybody? My name is Jordan Scott and welcome to the first episode of Farm Basics. On today's episode we're going to be talking about this beast behind me. This is our sprayer. Now what do we use a sprayer for? This is used to apply fungicides, pesticides, and herbicides. Uh, fungicides take care of any diseases that our plants might get. Pesticides take care of any bugs. And herbicides take care of any of the weeds or foreign plants that come into our crops that would take away moisture from our crops that we're trying to grow. And uh, this sprayer applies all of those. Now sprayers come in many different colors, sizes, and shapes. And there's even airplanes that spray. Now our sprayer happens to be a Case IH Patriot 3340. And that is what we use to spray all of our acres, corn and soybeans. And this one unfolds, these booms unfold, and when it's unfolded it is 120 feet across. So 60 feet from the middle on each wing. Now this allows us to cover a lot of acres really fast and uh, efficiency is very important because spraying is all based on timing. If you don't get the weeds quick enough or early enough or the bugs when they're in the right stages uh, it won't be effective and you've wasted a lot of money. Now if you guys have any questions about the sprayer go ahead and drop them in the comments below and if you learned something on this video give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe as well and look for more videos like this on Farm Basics. So in this series I am going to be going over a lot of our equipment and just anything you guys want to learn about um, I grew up on a farm, so this is kind of second nature to me, but I know a lot of you did not grow up on a farm and have questions about what what even is this piece of machinery behind me. It looks weird. Looks like you can drive under it. Please don't do that, by the way. Uh, that's how you get in big accidents. So I'm going to be going over some basics of what we have on our farm and what we use and kind of some different things that you might see out in the you know, out in the fields. Now this sprayer holds a thousand gallons, one thousand gallons of mix and most of that ends up being water uh, with small amounts of chemical mixed in. Uh, we do not use any extra chemical that we don't have to. It is very expensive and if you don't have the right mix it will kill your crop even and and everything else. The soil is our factory, so we want to take care of it the best we can, and we don't do anything that's not safe. My family, my two young boys, uh, eat all the food that we produce as well, so there's nothing I would do that would harm anybody, or especially my family. Now to even buy pesticides and herbicides and fungicides that go in this machine, you have to be licensed by the state, and every state is different, but I take a test to be able to not only purchase the chemicals but to apply the chemicals as well and there's even some chemicals where you have to take a test every year to be able to use them. So we go through a testing process to be able to use a sprayer even. So we're trained every year to make sure that we know the most up-to-date info on the products we're using and uh, how to safely apply them to our fields. Now you might be asking what a machine like this will cost um, this one was purchased brand new. I believe it was in the $350,000 range. Uh, I will double check that and make sure. This is a self-propelled model where there's an engine in the back and it drives itself where you don't have to pull it with a tractor or anything. So this is its own vehicle. Uh, it's very efficient and very fast. But this is a big investment for a farm. If you don't have a sprayer on your farm, you would probably hire somebody to do it for you. We have done some custom spraying for other farmers in our area. So because we have the equipment, we could use this to help some others in our area. Obviously that's a charge to them, so it would pay us to do that. But a lot of times you don't have the time to do that as well and get your own stuff sprayed at the same time. So. A lot of times people will hire a co-op or their local elevator to come and spray their fields and their crops. A lot of elevators will have three, three to five of these machines, maybe more, depending on the size of the elevator. 
and they will come and do custom spraying for farmers in their area. So this sprayer has a mixing tank already built in. This folds down and you can put your chemicals right in there and they will mix automatically as you're filling water through this guy right here or there's one on the front of the vehicle as well and you can get water in that way and then mix your chemicals in this uh, mixing tank as you're filling full of water. There is a ton of plumbing and hydraulics on this vehicle. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a tangle of hoses and wires and uh, it's just a very advanced machine. Now this sprayer is equipped with what is called Aim Command Pro. That's just a uh, cases controller that they use in their sprayers. That allows us to use overlap control where we will only spray one piece of ground one time and when it gets to a place where it's already sprayed it has mapped that using GPS and will shut off the sprayer automatically when we get there so we don't double apply on something and waste product or kill the plant by applying too much product on it. It also will allow when you go around a corner the outside is moving much faster than the inside and you would need to apply more product on the outside faster to get the same coverage as the inside and slow down the inside because it's staying still as you turn and that aim command pro does that as well and it works really well and we've not had any issues with that so it's a pretty advanced machine it also has gps that will drive itself so i don't even have to steer if i don't want to and set up the gps so that's pretty cool if you ask me so that is a little bit about our sprayer. If you guys have any questions, like I said, drop them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer all the questions. I love getting questions and interacting with you and uh, talking to people about farming. So drop them in the comments and stay tuned for more of these farm basic videos. I'll be talking about even what's a tractor, down to what's a corn plant, what's a soybean plant, and doing some really basic videos on what farming is and what are the tools that we use to do our farming. So if there's something you guys want to see or have questions about, let me know. But otherwise, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.